next on News with a Twist. These are the new all-terrain vehicles for new patrols in the French Quarter. We'll tell you what's coming in just a few days and how you can get help when you see trouble. Also, fill up on fig cookies and grab a fava bean. We're celebrating St. Joseph's Day. And are you craving crawfish? Find out how to boil the best batch. Well, send in the cavalry, or in this case, off-duty NOPD officers on all-terrain vehicles. Check these out. These are Polaris ATVs. They've got flashing red and blue lights. Sidney Torres IV, millionaire real estate developer, bought these for the city of New Orleans to start a new French Quarter task force to fight crime. Working with a coalition of French Quarter residents and businesses, the French Quarter Management District, Torres has an agreement with the city to start new patrols involving multiple shifts of off-duty cops riding around the quarter 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah, the new patrols will start next week, and here's where you come in. The task force has a free smartphone app that'll let you get instant access to those patrols. Yeah, it's not like you have to call 911. You can actually do it on your phone. You tell them where you are and what's happening. And the patrols will be looking for the serious stuff. You know, you can send a picture in of crime in progress if you want to. And you don't have to give your name. Yet yeah, Mr. Torres putting his money where his mouth is, is on this one. I guess mm -hmm. the only question I have is what happens when Mr. Torres decides. I mean, he's given the vehicles to the city, so it's not like he's going to say, hey, I'm on my stuff. Back. You wouldn't think so. Right. But, you know, he's not going to pay for these, you know, ad infinitum, you know. Somebody's going to have to pick up the ball here and help out, I guess. Well, I, I guess maybe we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. You know, I talked to the head of the French Quarter Management District today, mm -hmm. who's running the security uh, task force for this, and joined Sidney Torres in this. Mm -hmm. And he says, look, this is a two-month trial. It starts ah. next Wednesday. But Sidney Torres came out with those commercials mm -hmm. that made some people in the city angry. Now yeah. there is this cooperative agreement. He really is following through. Yeah, you know, he I didn't like just that. come out and I say, like sure. oh, they should do more. And so mm -hmm. I guess we have to look to him as, you know, a multi-millionaire. Yeah. Maybe he will keep them going. But mm -hmm. the city needs to stand up more. And, you know, the French Quarter Task Force is saying, look, some people are saying, well, we've got the state police troopers now. You know, we, we yeah. didn't think we were going to get them, but it's still not enough. No, it's not. I mean, we saw the incident just the other day. With the a beer bottle. The bottle yeah. and all that. that the, the state police were there then. And that's something else that they're saying. They're saying, look, we don't want quality of life issues. We don't want yeah. you to, to call the patrol or smartphone the app. Music's the music's too loud. The music's too loud. <laughs> or I saw a dog pee on the corner. That's no, no, not no. what they want. They're parked incorrectly. None no, of that. no, no. They're looking for serious stuff that they think mm -hmm. there aren't enough officers maybe to cover. And these off duty cops will be supervised by the 8th District awesome. uh, French Quarter NOPD Command Center, so yeah. they've got backup if they need I it. I like the fact that we're using police to do it, though, exactly. also, yeah. as opposed to... And they're getting paid. Whatever, what was right. the NOLA patrols thing? I don't know. Are yeah. they there now? <laughs> I don't know.